Ladies and gentlemen, as we approach December, we think about value in our art class curriculum. And I'd like to approach a project today about value, dealing mostly with shadows being cast on the snow. And also the dark and light sides of a tree. We'll begin with a square piece of paper, and we need to fold that square in half diagonally, like this, from corner to corner, and in both directions. We'll go across and line up those corners carefully. Now we have just got the diagonal shape there. In a little while, we'll cut along one side. But for today, we need to think about a diagonal picture. We want our, uh, our ground or our horizon to be located here on the paper. And this is going to be sky. I'll show you why. So simply drawing a horizon line across this edge of your paper is pretty much all the drawing necessary. We didn't even need to draw it because uh, the rest is paint here. We're going to do some watercolor painting. And we'll use uh, wet into wet watercolor. Now, once we've done a wet, a wet into wet watercolor painting of our sky here above our horizon line, I'm going to just let that wet paint sit on the paper and take just a little bit of salt, like you would use salt at the dining table. And I'm going to get just a few sprinkles in my fingers, not a ton, but this salt has a great effect on watercolor paper and paint and it kind of draws the moisture away from the paper and leaves these dark spots and light spots are a real interesting texture. That's all the salt I need. But as you, we watch and wait and let that sit to dry, you'll see how the colors kind of change and the texture appears. That'll give us an effect like a snowy sky. Ladies and gentlemen, I have given this painting a little time to dry. The paint's still wet here. But you can see how the salt effect has caused some speckles in my sky to appear. And that's really going to help us for our snow. I took the Sharpie and drew some lines on this strip of white. And I painted one half of my strip gray. That is to show a shadow side to my tree. Now I'm going to cut it out carefully. And here I have a birch tree. Something that you might see in a winter landscape. Now here comes the tricky part, making it three-dimensional. I've got to cut this diagonal line up to the fold in the center of my paper. So ladies and gentlemen, we should have uh, let our painting dry with the salt effect in our night landscape here, our winter sky with salt that uh, sort of dissolves and gives us the look of snow on the surface here. And we should have also painted little shadow sides on our birch trees. So now it's assembling on day two. Uh, we can take our trees. We don't want to attach them right onto the horizon though because that's basic. We can push our the base of our tree into this snowy portion of the landscape. Just come below the horizon a little bit and we can attach our trees. 
Uh, I've got several trees to work with, so I'm going to plan to make sure one tree is right on the fold. That will add some strength to our finished project, so I'll probably cut it about this tall. And maybe we need one more somewhere over here. I don't want them evenly spaced out because in nature things are rarely evenly spaced out. So we'll just have them scattered around the, the picture a little bit. I think I'll go like this. All right, I've attached my trees and made sure to fold this one in the center on the seam. That helps for when we stand it up. Now the two remaining pieces here, one, we want to attach the bottom with some glue and two, we want to take our paintbrush and add shadows going diagonally. Since the shadow is on the left side of my tree, that means the light source is on the right. And the light source is going to cast a shadow down here. But don't add the shadow until you have propped your trees up. So you can get all of the shadows running parallel. And it's a little confusing to do it flat. So I'm just going to stand it up first and then show you how it finishes. Alright, this has been the how to create a 3D winter landscape using analogous, analogous colors, wet into wet, with a salt effect for the watercolor sky, and then some aspen or birch trees casting a shadow on the snow. Good luck!